belly. <laughs> oh, no, we're not having this. With you. this I want to die, but it's okay. Because today we're exploring the necromancer pack, and he'll bring me back I, to life. I don't know. I don't know if I. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Frankie. We're doing it. Okay, we're doing another. This DLC. is happening. We're doing another DLC. Yes, we are. Necromancer what? will bring me back for a life. What's it called? Back to life. Necromancer pack. The necromancer pack. Holy shit! All right, so Mike, you're gonna be the necromancer guy because he was the one you started off with. That's why you're level eight. Mm. And this is the cult minion. Fucking amazing. The man. little secondary one. Um, fun fact, apparently he's meant to be a, a clone of the evil wizard at the end Didn't of the game. So that's why he looks exactly like him. Fuck so we're going to go man. check out this shit. I will say, my guy has literally the best, one of the best oh defense God, swords in the game. Sword. Sorry? This guy has one of the best defense swords in the game. Yeah. Seven plus seven defense. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that's crazy. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Unfortunate fact, though, is that... I fire bones. Great. Unfortunate fact is that un although this seems to carry on right throughout the screen, it can only hit seven different enemies. Oh, that's so, a shame. But oh my good, that's scary. That's amazing. Oh, oh my god. The magic. The mag <laughs> I haven't got my magic yet. The magic so let's go check out great. this, shall we? The magic here is great. So what comes with, what swords come with so the necromancer we have pack? ourselves. We have explored this briefly before, but. No, let's quickly get up here very, very quickly. First one is the chainsaw. Oh, oh actually, it's the mace and the chainsaw. Oh, cool. So the mace and the chainsaw. Oh, chainsaw. but they're really high levels. So you can't yeah, use them. Yeah, I know. What, I think one of the things that really annoyed me was the fact that the downloadable content actually just went, oh, fuck you, basically. Um, yeah, it's very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. One you thing I like about this guy is the fact that out of all, there's loads of, like, the packs that come with two, two, um, two characters... Like the secondary ones, usually really shit, but actually this, one's a very this one could do one, yeah. very yeah. He could do he could do magic. Um, he's actually got a really good um, attack and magic jump as well, where lots of don't. Show and he everyone. shoots bones. Plus seven, plus two magic. So it's a very whoa. Fucking that's good awesome. Um, what have I got? What is this? <laughs> right there. Right there it there. is. Ah, all right. So what is this one from? What pack do you get that from? You just unlock it. Oh, okay. You oh, can, it's very you, cool. That's, oh, you've got to be level 20 to use it. It's not yeah, happy. so the main boss great. at the very end has that that sword. Ah, that yeah. sword, I genuinely, I, I swear you can just find it. You just unlock it. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, so those two, obviously, yeah, you, you've got to buy the DLC. Sorry. Bye. That's fine. No, no enemy uses them in the game. Yeah. So let's go check out the orb. Worth mentioning that, unfortunately, although the Necromancer is like the second in command and is a super powerful enemy to fight, doesn't have wings. You can't fly with the Necromancer. Oh, no. And False advertising. Unfortunately, <laughs> you as the cult minion. Where is... There he is. This bad boy. You as yes. the cult minion, you don't get your... Um, you don't get your magic protection as, like, the cult minions do in the campaign. Oh. So... Boo. Unfortunately, I can still do as much damage against you as per usual. But the dragon head is what it's called. Yep. Shoots fire. That's pretty cool. I'm sticking with that one. I'm still. It's it's nice and simple, really. Other fact: when you are fighting the necromancer, use the piggy. The piggy basically increases all of the health that you get from food. And so Ooh. when you fight the necromancer, nearly every single enemy that you kill drops food. And the necromancer doubles in attack basically in its final mission, uh, final level. So you need as much food as possibly can. Imagine doing that on insane mode, for Christ's sake. It's yeah. one of the hardest missions in the game. I, I haven't touched insane mode, but you have, haven't it's you? It's fucking difficult. Yeah. It is. Well, the, apparently, this um, character that I'm using, the cult minion, is probably the hardest um, character to unlock on the PS3 and um, PC. Because you don't, you, they're not downloadable content. You have to unlock them. Mm. And the way you do that is it beat the ice castle on insane mode and I, I ice castles hard enough as it is anyway um and imagine it on insane mode so oh this is fair isn't it mike cool <laughs> brilliant i'm gonna shoot bones at you are you you're a prick you know what mike mike you're an <laughs> asshole fucking I I'm, know I'm, what it feels like. oh there's hands coming out the ground ah! okay just kill me and then we can get on with it oh no you you cut my <laughs> you cut my freaking head off can't play as that character anymore <laughs> Yeah, it makes me change character. That'll That's be it. You're gonna buy the pack. And That'll go be down. a pain in the dick hole. Yeah. What are we doing? I'm going to die. Whatever. If you go further than this fucking, 
Oh my god, Mike. <laughs> Let's do this. No, Matty! Oh, mate, these guys don't even know. I actually really like this guy. He's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what his magic is. Right, we're going to fast forward now until I am able to do cool magic because it does shit all right now. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've just played a little bit to try and rank up. And I managed to get him to level five, so it's quite a lot of stuff. We want to get his magic up because we want to see exactly what his magic does. Ooh, new magic. All right. You want to bring it on now, Mike? Yeah, we're not that far off each other. Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually quite fun. These two are fucking cool, man. What were you saying about what um, what makes the him such a good boss and a good character? Um, well, first of all, I need to start winning. Um, so, like, but so basically, one of the cool things about um, this boss is that th there's you have different classes of um, character, basically. Um, and what do you mean by classes? So, for example, it's it's depending on. Um, what their magic does, etc. You know, it does it have a secondary attack? Like, is it just damage or not? Like, that sort of stuff, basically. Um, Fuck you, shut all over me. All right, so you're talking about eight like different classes of knights. What does that mean? Okay, so there's the um, there's like class A, class B knights, basically, and a lot of it depends on like how their um, do their attacks have secondary effects, that sort of stuff, basically. So, okay. say for example, the, the normal grey knights. They just fire swords and bows and shit like that. So there's just all the primary purpose of that is just damage. That's okay. all it is. But the necromancer is a class A, so that means that his attacks, his magic attacks, for example, have secondary abilities. Right. Instead of just doing damage, mine blows you completely out of the sky. And the other one as well is its Y attack. So yeah. say, for example, you're shielded. Um, say if you were doing a fire damage against. Um, against a guy all I'd have to do is just hold up my shield and I'd be able to defend it okay. but this guy can get underneath the shields oh, with his attacks and so again it has more of a secondary ability basically where it can get round the defences uh, again with the red knight for example so that's the one that has the, um, the electricity so again that stuns so that's a secondary ability orange knight um, that's fire, fire. Uh, that's burning with the um Blue Knight, it does damage, but it also freezes you. And obviously then with the Green Knight, again, it's um, like toxic, so it poisons you basically for a little while. That's pretty cool. It's a really good pack, though. I'd recommend it. How much do you pay for this, do you know? Um, it was 160 Microsoft points when I first bought oh, it. Oh, okay. So, so I, I think that's about £2 now, maybe? Yeah, PS3, yeah. PC version, you need to um, complete the game on insane mode. Sorry, complete the industrial... Um, castle on insane mode and you need to do um, the ice the castle level. on insane mode to get this guy yeah. cool I went up a level I'd like to see let's let's go check out what his next level of magic is okay all right we're gonna put him up I put straight at one because you know YOLO let's have a look oh a new magic all right we're gonna go it's literally firing down is it yeah it's... well we're gonna check it out Hee hee. One more. Arena. This would be a good. Ah, like, I've just noticed every time we've been in the Thieves Arena, the the, um, the mount changes. Ah. Come on then. Oh, yeah. There you go. Let me see. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me do it. Let me see if it hurts you. How much hurts oh, yeah, you? Yeah, because it flies from above, doesn't it? Oh, oh you yeah, sure we're dick. <laughs> Fuck off, Mike, all right? Fuck off. This ain't <laughs> no Game of Thrones. I'm gonna fucking use my use your spade. I'm gonna fucking spade you, mate. Ooh. I really wanted to spade you then. Can you hit someone with a spade? Yes, look. I'm trying to spade you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, well, thanks for that. Thanks for joining us. Check out the Necromancer pack. It's awesome. See you later. It's alright, probably the best value In for money. Until next time. Okay, bye.